This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Trudy Adams and Miss Anning. And what we're doing now is increasing the activity behind at the trot. And we're doing like a spiral in. Good, good. She needs to step up more so she picks up your back even more. 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 Good. Praise her. More. More. Yes, you feel when she starts lifting her shoulder? Praise her. That's right. Now from here, start doing something else. You can come down the center line. Remember how we did a leg yield into a, you know, a circle, a couple circles? There's, feel her loser activity? Good. So you've got to get more active in the leg yield where she stays up in her shoulder. Good. That's it. More active. She's disconnected. So shorten your rein. Get her to step up where she lifts her shoulder and engages more. Good, good. Praise her. Good, good. That's all right. When she leans on her rein, get her to step up into it. Every time she leans on whatever rein, it's really her back end. Good. Good. That's it. Try to do a 10 meter circle. You're going to come out of it and the shoulder in. More activity. Keep the activity. You'll have to shorten your reins so you have more control of what she's doing with her shoulder. Good. More activity. More. 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 Come down the center line in a leg yield. That's right. Keep the activity. Oh, yeah. Feel the difference in your activity. Your reins are too long. Tap her. Tap her. Tap her. She loses the activity in the leg yield because you're going too sideways. So if she, can, if she changes her rhythm, you're asking for too much sideways. At this time in her training, you'll get steeper angles as she stays more consistent with it. That's right. You're going to do your circle, more activity. She's not picking up your inside seat bone. Into a leg yield, keeping the same step. Tap, 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 tap. Shorten your reins. Tap. She's a little bit insulted. Good. Praise her. Again, you're going to do a 10 meter circle into a leg yield into a 10 meter circle. Good. Keep her connected. Shorten your outside rein so her nose comes down a little bit. That's it. And get her to step up into it. That's it. Praise her. Good. Do you feel how you're starting to use the circle? More forward. More forward. Feel her get stuck? That's when you're going too sideways. She's going to say she can't do it. Good. Good. Yep. More sideways. Get that big step. I can't hear you. Oh yeah, then she'll start going too sideways because she's just learning how to do leg yields. So your job is to help her learn that she can go forward so she can cross her legs as she goes sideways. She crosses her leg, but she's going at such a steep angle that she loses her steps. Like feel the step you have right here, leg yield right over to the wall and see if you can keep that step. That's all right, yep, keep it more forward. Tap her, tap her on the outside. Good, now come down the center and see if you can do a leg yield keeping that same step. Same positioning, same step. That's it, tap her. Too much crooking, too much. She is, but her neck isn't straight enough. So you had her just brought, you brought her nose over about five inches too far. Good, more activity. That was a much better leg yield. So remember, you've got to, she just has a slight positioning of her inside eye on a leg yield. Good. Tap her up, tap her up. Good, Trudy. Now leg yield, keeping the same rhythm. Much better. Straighten her out with your right rein just a little bit. There, feel her pick you up different? Good, tap her. Tap her. Oh, nice, Trudy. Yes, yes, another 10 meter circle into a leg yield. This time you'll have to keep her back end a little more active because she lost her back end a little in the other one. Good, and we're being picky, but you're ready for this. Good, tap her more forward before your leg yield. Stepping under more, now leg yield, keeping that push, straighten her neck out just, yep, next. that's exactly right. Tap her forward, tap her forward, that's it. Good, her back end didn't move over on that one. Do another 10 meter circle. Into a leg yield right there. Oh well, whichever, you can go all the way around. You can do just a half a circle now. You're just getting her inside hind under her with the circle. Okay, now keep her active. Look where you're going. Yes, feel the difference. Get her back in, get her back in, get her back in, get her back in. Too much, yeah, feel what happens to the neck. Yeah, she's oh, that's all right. That's what, she's not used to going forward as she does this. That was nice, Trudy. What do you feel different in your leg yield? Don't be sorry. This is hard work. The glasses are tearing up the side of my nose. And yeah. I just need a new pad 
<laughs> we pet her something. So what are you feeling different in your leg yield? Yeah, it's just, it's hard because I come around that turn and she wants to curl her neck. And then I'm trying to get her to go forward and she wants to curl her neck still. And then I know that's not the right way to do it. But... Well, that's all right because that's where you are now. She has never had a leg yield this forward, right? right. So even though she got you, you know, into thinking it's just the front end, she was actually moving more forward in a leg yield. That's a good thing.